Hi, Satish. How are you doing? Hi, Divya. How are you? I'm doing I'm fine. Good. I'm good too. Thank you for sparing our time for uh, you know making through this episode. I'm really grateful for that. And uh, in my past episodes, we have spoken majorly about a couple of our buckets. These are uh, organization, culture, and technology. Today, our episode is purely going to be about our business, that is mass customization, and uh, we'll broadly be understanding the mass customization industry and the technology behind it. So, before we start a conversation, Satish, can you quickly introduce yourself to our audience, please? Sure. Uh, I'm Satish Pai. I work in the Simpress Technology Group, which is a central team within Simpress. Uh, we are responsible for a lot of the uh, software and technology services that are uh, used by all of the Simpress businesses. Um, and uh, yeah, so I work on some aspects like the mass customization platform, which uh, I'm be happy to talk more about. All right. Thank you for your introduction. So let's begin the conversation. So I would like to kickstart the conversation by asking you to briefly, you know, tell our audience more about Simpress and, uh, you know, like what we are into and very simply explain sure. what customization really means. Sure. So um, Simpress is a company that works essentially on mass customization. And so, of course, the immediately the question will be, what is mass customization? Right. Now, everyone has heard of what is mass production. You know, you have like an iPhone or uh, any kind of like, you know, um, appliance or things like that that are produced in large quantities. Um, and they are all identical units that are produced in uh, great numbers. Mass customization basically means, you know, we want to have the large scale production of various items, but each of them is uniquely personalized. It might be something as simple as putting the name of a company or a brand logo or something like that on it. And as an example, I can show you, for instance, I have a pen here, which actually has Simpress and it has my name on it, you know? And that's an example of, you can have millions of these pens produced, but then to have each one of them be personalized with somebody's name, that's the essence of mass customization. And that's what Simpress does. You know, uh, we produce these things at scale. Each item is customized in a unique way and we cover a full range of products. We handle things like, you know, paper products and banners and signs, promotional products like pens or like, you know, keychains and glassware and, you know, things like that t-shirts, apparel, hats, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, can be customized and which we do customize. Uh, marketing materials as well. So every time a company needs like some flyers or postcards or, you know, some kind of pamphlets and brochures, those, if you really think about it, those are actually just customized content that is printed on pieces of paper or cardboard or whatever it is. And uh, we can produce all of those things as well. Right. And um, I would like to add here that we are actually a multinational company. We are um, made up of several businesses um, that are doing business with different brands in different customer segments and in different geographies around the world. Um, and I'll mention a few names here, like one of the uh, biggest brands we have in our portfolio is Vistaprint, which uh, works with the small and medium business segment, also a lot of consumer uh, uh, products like greeting cards and things like that. We have build a sign, which focuses a lot on banners and signs and flags and things of that nature. National pen, which handles uh, a lot of promotional items, pens, but also like, you know, uh, other small items uh, that they make. And then there are some names um, like Wehrmark and Druck, which is a big uh, printing uh, company in Germany. Print Deal, which is another one that's uh, focused in the Netherlands. We have Trade Print, which is based in the UK. We have Easy Print, which is based in uh, France. We have Pixart Printing, which handles both Italy and France. Um, and you know, there's a lot of these. Uh, we also have a brand uh, and subsidiary called Yinshida, which works in China. So we sort of are present in a lot of different markets and we are attacking a lot of different customer segments, whether it's consumer markets and small businesses or mass printing, trade printing, promotional items, a lot of different things. Thank you, Satish, for you know, answering very lucidly to this. And um, so, yeah, the next thing is, um, so we are into mass customization and we often talk about mass customization platform or as we call it MCP. And uh, we know that it is one of the major factors behind uh, Simplice's mass customization expertise. So can you quickly uh, tell our audience more about the platform and you know why are we, why is Simplice pursuing it? 
Sure. Um, yeah, MCP is a very common uh, acronym that you'll hear inside uh, Simpress, and it stands for Mass Customization Platform. Uh, what this is, is it's a set of um, capabilities and services in the customization domain that all of our businesses share. So, you know, you can think of it as basically a shared technology systems, you know, like um, basically software components, systems that can be used by all of our businesses in a very uniform way. Um, we call it a platform because it's not just a random collection of tools and services and things for that. It's actually something that provides a very consistent way of doing things. Uh, it, the emphasis is on interoperability and we have standards for all the things that are fundamental in the uh, space of mass customization. So new services and systems are also built. This platform is a continuously evolving um, uh, platform. And that is to say, it's sort of like modular and extensible, you know, so we can rely on very uniform and consistent interfaces for all our businesses to take advantage of that. And we're pursuing the uh, MCP for a couple of reasons. You know, uh, one is that this platform allows our businesses within the uh, Simpress universe to interoperate very easily and they can benefit from the synergies that are within Simpress itself. Um, so for instance, one business selling uh, something through another business, you know, producing something for another one, which doesn't have the same production capabilities and all those kinds of things. Um, some of them are focused on different geographic markets. And so let, it lets each of the businesses actually have a reach uh, to all of our customers, all of our markets. Um, beyond that, uh, there is also the aspect that the interoperable and extensible architecture, coupled with the standards that I mentioned for all the basic things that are the components of mass customization, it means that we can also interoperate with businesses that are outside the Simpress family. So we do a lot of things where we will fulfill or produce items for other companies. And sometimes there are things that we sell, which the production we might outsource to third-party fulfillers and things like that. Uh, we also need to obviously connect with suppliers who send us the raw materials and the unfinished goods that we take and uh, customize. So the mass customization platform actually helps us in all these things and connecting with connecting the businesses, both within the Simpress family and also outside the Simpress family. Um, essentially, all, what all of this does is it makes it extremely easy for us to support new products. So we can launch new products all the time. Uh, we can reach new customers, uh, with both, both new segments of customers within existing markets, and also we can expand geographically. Uh, we can improve the user experience. We can improve the quality of our products. We can, and eventually it's all about making the customer happy. So we improve customer satisfaction. And we can do all of this with greater efficiencies and lower costs. That's what the platform lets us do. And if you look at all of that together, what that translates to is a strategic and competitive advantage for Simpress in the business of mass customization. Okay. So following up from the last question, so Satish, what <laughs> according to you are the main segments or elements of MCP or mass customization? Sure. So um, the mass customization platform um, is quite a complex and extensive system. And uh, we have a lot of capabilities that we have developed over time to help us uh, in what we do. Um, but to explain it in a, in a sort of a 60,000 foot uh, level view, I would say that the bedrock of all of it is product standards. We have standardized definitions and a model with which we can describe the vast variety of customizable products that are there out there that we can get in the market, you know, ranging from paper products to signage to promotional goods. Uh, the models that we have and the standards, they capture the enormous complexity that all these products have, the different ways in which they can be manufactured, the different sizes, colors, shape. You know, we take something as simple as a t-shirt that can be embroidered. And obviously it's available in like six different sizes, you know, from baby sizes to adult sizes, men's, women's and all that might be available in 20 different colors. And it might, there might be like five different places that you can put the embroidery of a logo or you can print, you know, uh, uh, some sort of a pattern on it. So all of these things need to be described. They need to be uh, modeled appropriately. They need to be priced. We need to be able to handle them in our fulfillment. So we have like standards for all of these things. Beyond that, we have standardized also the ways to capture the customization itself. So when we say customization, usually it means that a customer has given us some artwork, you know, some images, maybe it's their brand logo or something like that. 
And then there might be some text like that, that describes their company or might describe might the name of a person and things like that. So how do we take all of that and in a uniform and consistent way, make sure that that actually gets put on the product that we are customizing, keeping in mind the wide range of uh, decoration technology that we have. We print things on paper, we have like, you know, heat transfer, we have laser engraving, we have embroidery, we have pad printing, screen printing. There are so many different techniques out there for decorating different uh, items to customize them. We need to handle all of them. So the software and systems and standards that handle that. Along with that, there's a lot of infrastructure to manage like the orders that are flowing between the businesses that describe these uh, items. Um, there are there's front end or customer facing support that we have, like you know what people might call e-commerce systems to be able to like interact with the customer, give them a design experience, give them the ordering, you know, shopping cart, pricing, all those kinds of things. And at the back end, we have things that handle routing it to different fulfillers, you know, the logistics network, the manufacturing information systems that help us produce these things and so on. So there's all these things there. Everything has been built in a very scalable way using very modern software techniques. And uh, if you use sort of the geeky terms, you know, I'll throw some around. We are built with an API first uh, approach and it is a multi-tenant system and it's built entirely with microservices. Uh, and we are confident that this approach helps us scale and approach the future um, with uh, these things continuing in a very consistent way. Okay, I think we have uh, recently covered about the business and technology and now probably let's talk about how we can expand the, how we are expanding our Simpress family. So, you know, for someone who might be interested in joining Simpress or, you know, just wants to know more about our businesses, could you please unfold how we are going about it with a special focus on India? Sure, no problem. Um, so as I mentioned, I work in Simpress Technology, which is a central team. And Simpress Technology is the primary uh, organization that is responsible for building um, the mass customization platform. So um, we are building most of this software, like there are parts that are also built by software teams within the different businesses, but our primary mission is to build this. Um, there are, you know, we think of the mass customization platform and also the Simpress technology team itself as a shared capability, you know. Software teams exist in every business as well because obviously you need to customize things uh, for the specific business. You know, they might have different ways of like presenting to their customers on their websites. They might have different ways of dealing with local suppliers and um, producers and so on. Um, we, uh, you know, uh, in Simpress technology, we have a large, team of software engineers uh, also includes uh, roles such as product managers who understand the business problems that all of our businesses face and have studied the business landscape in depth. So we know like, you know, what are the directions that we need to go in creating more, you know, new services or extending existing services and what are the business problems that we need to handle when we're building this software. Um, we rely heavily on India, as you mentioned. So um, we in fact have uh, a, a, I would say a, an organization that we call Simpress India, that is the umbrella organization for all the different teams that are working in India. And this is something that is a central part of our strategy for future growth. We see a great pool of excellent talent in India for our technology roles, as well as for a lot of other roles. You know, uh, We have business analysts and data scientists and others joining our team. And we also have a large team of graphic services agents because in the process of actually creating and producing these uh, customized um, items, we do need uh, the help of like trained graphic agents to sometimes you know uh, modify the artwork or to come up with new artwork on the fly and things like that. So uh, we hired those as well in India. And uh, we've just found that we've had great luck in hiring an amazing group of people in India. Um, and our teams have grown from, you know, barely like 100 people or so, like a few years back. to so now I think we have over 1,500 or something like that. And it just continues to grow. It's uh, definitely the fastest growing uh, geography among all of our teams across uh, Simpress. So, yeah. And, you know, so this, this notion of like, you know, having the central team that's focused on this, it's just... A, a, an efficient way for Simpress as a whole to build this. And the reliance on India is because we have seen time and again that we get really good talent there. So. I'm a proud member of that rapidly expanding team. 
So uh, I hope this helps people who are looking out for more opportunities and uh, are willing to join Census. Uh, to conclude, Satish, could you share your thoughts on, you know, where you see the mass customization industry in, uh, let's say, another five years or so? <laughs> Uh, well, I wish I had a crystal ball, uh, <laughs> but I would say, you know, at a, at a high level, it seems that the future uh, looks very bright for mass customization. Mass customization, if anything, is becoming more and more popular. You know, I think um, whether it's consumer items or business branding and things like that, you know, um, people have moved from expecting your plain vanilla items that are mass produced to expecting that things should be personalized, things should be unique, things have to be customized in some way. Um, nobody wants something that's identical to somebody else's, you know, whatever that item is that they have. And even a very simple thing like a phone case, you know, you have your phone and you have your uh, phone case for it. People don't just want a plain phone case. They want like their name engraved on it, or they want like, you know, some their favorite quote or something like that. That is all, those are all, ex uh, you know, examples of uh, customization. And then, the issue is that, you know, um, how do we do this unique personalization for each business or for each family or each individual? Well, it turns out the technology for doing all of this is also evolving. And, you know, companies like ours, Impress, but also, uh, you know, the bigger industry, we are getting more efficient at it. It's becoming more cost effective to do some of these things and customize them in unique ways um, that were not possible before. And so, it is the industry is constantly evolving you know there are new decoration technologies that come up that are more efficient and more affordable and on demand manufacturing is also something that's a, a big thing that's coming up now and so rather than taking you know uh, millions of things that have been produced in a mass way and then customizing each of them separately um, the possibility also arises that we can manufacture some of these things on demand uh, to each customer's uh, requirements um, so basically that's one reason why the future is bright the other part of it is that we are also like you know um, we don't want to just wait for the customer to come to us and say this is my idea this is the artwork here please print this on a piece of paper or on a, on a pen or a t-shirt or something like that Instead, we actually want to help the customer and say like, hey, we can help you come up with an image for your business. We can help you come up with the brand identity for your business. We can help you come up with a logo. You know, if it's a consumer item, maybe we can help you come up with that, you know, the perfect invitation for something or the design for, you know, something that you have. Um, so we actually want to go into the step of like, you know, helping people come up with those designs and the, the, the artwork for that customization. Um, and here we have invested heavily in a lot of advanced techniques for assisted design, automatic design, artificial intelligence techniques to analyze and manage all the customization data that we get from our uh, customers and so on. So, you know, I put it all together. There's a lot ahead of us. We have a lot of plans and uh, this is gonna keep us very busy for a very long time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Satish, for uh, you know spending out time for this conversation. I think this would be very insightful and helpful for anyone who is interested in this industry or is you know looking forward to make some career opportunities. Uh, thank I'm you. glad. I really hope it helps, and uh, certainly look forward to welcoming uh, uh, you know uh, anyone who wants to uh, you know join Simpress and uh, work with us. Right, and uh, you know to those who are watching us, I would like to take a moment to mention that. Simpress is hiring across levels and uh, would be happy to have your application. So kindly check out job section on the LinkedIn page. Thank you so much, Satish. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.